So today, we are talking about that moment you got your lock started. That moment you had to wait three weeks to come back for your shampoo and your first retwist. The devil was busy. I'm sure he was because everybody go through. Like it's just the worst thing on earth when they got their lock started and between that first three weeks into the, you know, that ugly phase began and all the above. So today, let's talk about it. Let's talk about you going into your ugly phase. Bless your heart. Step one, let's shampoo. We gotta clean up our foundation, we gotta make sure our hair is clean, we gotta start in a good place because if we don't, how we start, we're gonna fail. How we start, we're gonna end. I don't wanna start with a whole bunch of product in your hair. I don't wanna start with all these crazy myths about you went home and used corn syrup and that did something for your follicles and you went outside and the scalp was green and you knew the Lord was gonna open up your scalp. And you're gonna do we're not doing any of that, we're gonna forget that. We're gonna start right back here. Because if you keep all of that in your mind, you keep all of that in your mental foundation, you're going to cause issues for yourself. So let's go simple, let's go back to the basics, and let's start first without shampooing. Shampooing is important. Just like you're going to take a bath on a daily basis, just like you're going to do all kinds of things, put lotion on your body, take care of your teeth, take care of your body, take care of your mind, take care of your heart. You're going to take care of your hair the same way because it is a part of you. Now, going to your hair, you want to shampoo with healthy professional products. Everybody in 2018 has a product, but all the products are not good. Think about some of the things that these products are saying. They're saying, I'm going to get you super clean, but I'm sold in Walmart by the pet fish department and the dog food. No, no, we're not going to buy that. I'm going to get you so clean, but I've been sitting in this beauty supply so long that I got so much dust on my surface. No, we're not going to buy that. I'm going to get you so clean, I'm going to clean up your foundation so well that I cost $42. No, we definitely not buying you. Because if you're great at what you do, it's not about that price. It's about the concept, the mindset, and the, the common analogy or the common ability that, it, that we're going to get from one another. So if I get you a healthy process, starting with healthy products, you're going to finish with a healthy product. So I use Design Essentials. Um, oat protein, honey moisture, you guys heard me say it a million times, rosemary mint conditioner, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do that, we're going to take the clown to the dryer, then once we finish that, we're going to start clipping those ends to get that fro still in a healthy place. So, I'm going to go through this whole process, shampoo, deep condition, and then you'll see us step to the next phase. Part 2. Now, we're going to go ahead and get coiling. We didn't trim the ends, we got it healthy clean, we got a great moisture level going on. We're going to get this coil going and we're going to get an understanding of what the client wants. If I don't satisfy the client, my job was not done. So, with me knowing that my client is not going to see exactly what I'm giving them from day one right here, they're going to wait, they have to wait a year or so to see it, and the kind of person I am with my genuine abilities, I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to do my job right. So if they want medium sized parts, we're going to start with medium sized parts to get them a medium sized lock, small size, whatever the case. This part that you see here is confusing because it's a thicker sized part, but the curl pattern is small. So even though the curl pattern is small, that part still differentiates what size lock we're going to have. This person wants a medium small. So it would be like kind of a pinky, maybe smaller in this aspect. But even though you're just looking at the curl pattern, I'm looking at the part because I can feel this hair in way more if they want a smaller parting. It ain't about the curl pattern. It's just about understanding that part to lock ratio. And if you understand that, then every client you have that sits in your chair will get up a satisfied customer and will be able to retain as a client for you for years and eons unless something detrimental happens, they have to cut their hair off, they're moving or whatever because they're going to trust you because now they see what they asked for, they actually got. And that's the size you want to be on. So if this what you see here is a small size curl pattern, but it's a medium sized part. Look at the difference and you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. Now, part three is I send every client home after getting started locks with me with a solution of oil. And I, every client gets that, I don't care who it is. Once your locks get started, you need to keep an hydration so a part of your system and a part of your understanding is take this oil and make it work for your good. Simple period point blank. Now and when they come back this is what you see when they come back because there is no reversion from a curl pattern. 
if this is how your hair naturally grows, this is exactly what's going to happen right here. The hair is going to already start budding. The moment that water hits that hair, just like when you took them braids down there, brush your hair real good, you put that water on it, it locked up real tight. Same thing happening right here. But it's happening on a more controlled basis because you knew what you were getting into. You were starting the coil, you were starting the process, and you were working with it. So, you already started to win. And this is your first three weeks. Now, the only thing that we have to adjust at this point, point of time is your mind to understand you can't shampoo as often, but you will shampoo and condition. It's certain things you will not have to do, but certain things you will be doing to keep this foundation strong. So, with this understanding of what your process is going to get you get started with, you should now feel at ease about getting your lock started. You should now understand that getting your lock started and having a healthy natural hair journey is going to be so simplistic. You can still live your life. You can still do what you want to do, when you want to do it, and everything will be fine. But just work with the patience of your hair, the patience of your mind and your body, and everything will work out for your good. I promise. I have seen so many successful journeys that it is crazy. So this is why I stand here before you to tell you, you can do this. So just take it slow, work with someone good, and all will be